hi fellas this is kinetics with a solution today i am going to assist you with a problem related to percentage yield okay so let's read the question ammonia is manufactured from hydrogen and nitrogen in the heber process this is the reversible equation given if 60 tons of hydrogen produces 80 tons of ammonia so what is the percentage yield in the reaction? Well, let's see. In order to answer this question, we need to find the keyword of this question. Okay. The keyword of this questions are 20 tons of hydrogen and sorry, extremely sorry, 60 tons of hydrogen and 80 tons of ammonia. And we need to recall some equations. Okay, let's see. Here we need to recall the formula percentage yield is equal to experimental value divided by theoretical value multiplied by 100%. Okay, so which one is the experimental value and which one is the theoretical value? So let's see. Experimental value is the value that is given in the question. Okay. This is the experimental value. It is always given in the question. Okay. So the value that is given in the question is the experimental value. And the theoretical value we need to find it out. Okay. We need to calculate it. We need to find the theoretical value by calculation. So the, mo uh, so the mass of the product that we would find by calculation is the theoretical value. Okay. So let's solve this question. So here is a trick that we can apply. We will treat the tons as gram in grams. Okay. No need to convert this in grams. Okay. It's pretty lengthy. So at first let us find the more number of moles of hydrogen. Number of moles of hydrogen. It's 60 divided by 2. That is 30 mole. Okay. 60. I'm telling this again that we are treating the tons in moles. I'm sorry. We are treating the tons in grams. Since this is tons and this is also tons then we can treat them as grams okay no need to convert this in grams okay so 60 divided by 2 gives us 30 moles and by mole ratio this is hydrogen okay by mole sorry sorry for my bad handwriting okay so by mole ratio we can find the theoretical value of ammonia therefore number of moles number of moles of ammonia is so let us look at the mole ratio. This is 2 and this is 3. The mole ratio of hydrogen is 2 ammonia is 3 is to 2. So nitrogen, number of moles of nitrogen is 2 third of hydrogen. So 2 third of number of moles of hydrogen gives us 20 moles. Okay. 
So here we have found that figure out the mass. We will find the mass by this equation. Mass is equals to number of moles multiplied by molar mass okay. I hope that you have got the point So we will use this equation in order to find the mass of ammonia. So mass of ammonia would be number of moles 20 multiplied by 17. Molar mass of ammonia is 17. 14 plus 3 is equal to 17. So this gives us as 340. So, so we can find the yield by uh, this is the experimental value. Experiment value should be at the top of the equation in the numerator. 80 divided by 340. multiplied by 100 gives us cancel okay so let us see which one is match with okay. so this doesn't match with this one this doesn't match with this one and this doesn't match with this one also okay so the answer should be this since this matches with this answer okay so the answer is b okay thank you same tube of precious plants Another thing that you need to know.